Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, and Sports Director Charlie Sakaitis. NBC 26 News at 5, keeping you connected. And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After our warmest day in over a week, Yesterday, we cooled back down today, and we're going to be on a bit of a roller coaster ride here as we head through the next seven days up and down. We go back up tomorrow. We continue going up through Wednesday with a high near 40. Then we crash down to 20 on Friday before climbing back up to 40 again as we move through this upcoming weekend. So right now we are looking at temperatures that range from the lower teens to the upper teens. It is currently 12 degrees in Sheboygan. We've got 15 in Oshkosh and we're looking at 13 degrees in Manitowoc. After tons of sunshine for much of the day, the high clouds are now really thickening up across northeast Wisconsin. It is 16 degrees in Green Bay. In Appleton, we're looking at 14 degrees with a light westerly wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So after wind chills in the teens below zero this morning, the the wind chill right now was really not all that bad. Storm shield radar shows quiet weather across the area right now. Even though we've got a lot of clouds coming in, there is not any snow coming in and the weather will stay dry throughout the night into tomorrow. High pressure is our main weather maker. It's an Arctic area of high pressure, obviously, so it was another cold day. Temperatures running 10 to 15 to 20 degrees below normal across the upper Midwest, and that means we have now had below normal daytime high temperatures for the last 12 days or every single day this month. We've been looking at a very persistent jet stream pattern across North America, a trough in the east, a ridge in the west, but as we head through the next couple of days, that trough is going to lift to the north and we're going to see a zonal flow develop across the country from west to east, and that means the cold air is going to get locked up in Canada and we're going to see some mild Pacific air move in from the west, and that actually starts tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Our normal high is 28. I'm forecasting 29, so that that would actually be above normal and then we continue to go up on Wednesday with highs mainly in the upper 30s to lower 40s but west of the Fox Valley temperatures could actually get up into the mid 40s. Now typically when you're on a roller coaster ride this time of year you're talking about the potential for some precipitation mainly in the form of snow but as we head through the next seven days little or no snow is in the forecast and that really has been the main weather story this winter for us here in northeast Wisconsin a snow drought We've only had about two feet of snow. Normally, we would have picked up about 35 inches by now. Last year, we had already picked up nearly 40 inches of snow. So tonight, mostly cloudy. Overnight lows dipping down into the single digits this evening and then climbing once those clouds thicken up. Tomorrow, look for mostly cloudy to partly sunny skies. More sunshine as we head into the afternoon. More clouds during the morning. High temperatures will be in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. If you are planning on spearing tomorrow, look for a lot of clouds out there. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s and lower 30s by the afternoon with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we move into Wednesday, look for sunshine and warmer temperatures around 40. Mother Nature is going to warm your heart for Valentine's Day. A little bit cooler on Thursday. A chance for some light snow or a few flurries as colder air comes in on Friday. A high around 20. And then another big warm up over the weekend. Mid 30s on Saturday. Right around 40 degrees on Sunday. Followed by some cooler weather on Monday. I like it though. It looks warm for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's crazy to think we're already halfway through February. I March know. is quickly approaching. We're going to start to feel the effects of that here. It's going to feel like spring. It is 40 degrees on Valentine's Day. Very nice. Wow. All right. Thanks so much, Cameron. Well, still ahead. What's next for the leftover land from the acquisition of the golf course for Oshkosh Corporation's new headquarters? We have that story coming up.